Hi and welcome to Analyze Maths. Today we're going to be looking at division. So for Edexcel for entry 3 we need to be able to divide three digit whole numbers by single digit numbers and express remainders and divide three digit whole numbers by double digit numbers and express remainders. We also need to understand and use the vocabulary of division and also understand the concept of a remainder and what that remainder interprets. So some keywords for today, digits, units, tens are all covered in my place value lesson, so please check that out. Um, division, divide by, share, group, split and half are all going to be looked at shortly. The most common place where people lose marks in this particular topic are not understanding that division is grouping or sharing, so lack the knowledge of your times tables and not understand completely what the question's asking. And also, when dealing with remainders, not understanding how to represent that remainder. So, as far as division goes, there's lots of language that we may have for it. We could be asked to divide, we could be asked to share, we could be asked to group. So, if um, a farmer had 42 sheep and wanted to group them into, um, split them into groups of five, how many sheep does he have, how many groups does he have and how many sheep are left over? Um, half is very specific for dividing by two. With division, this is the, where we see how many times a number fits into another number. So it's used when we need to divide things into equal shares. We use a method called the bus stop method. If you have another method and that works for you, please carry on using your method. Um, knowing your times table is going to really help with division. Okay, so let's see, let's break this down. So if I wanted to do 57 divided by three, the first thing I would need to do is um, I would start with my five. How many times does three go into five? It goes in once, so I put my one on the top and my, my remainder of two goes back underneath. So now this two is with this seven, so it's 27. So how many threes are in 27? There's nine. I'm going to look at division with no remainders first, and then we'll have a look at division with remainders. Let's do a few examples together. If I wanted to do 408 divided by 4, I would set it up so my 4 goes outside my bus stop and my 408 goes in, and then I would work from left to right. So how many 4s in 4? There's 1 with no remainder. How many 4s in 0? There isn't any. And how many 4s in 8? There's 2. There's no remainder, so I'm finished. Let's do another one. If I was doing 726 divided by 6 again, my 6 goes outside, my 726 goes inside, and I'm going to start from the left. How many 6s go into 7? There's 1. Remainder 1, which I'm going to give to this 2. How many 6s go into 12? There's 2, with no remainder. And how many sixes go into six? There's one. As you can see, knowing your times table is essential for this. We could check this answer by multiplication. Multiplication is the inverse of division, so it's the opposite of division. So if I wanted to check something was right, I could do the opposite. So if I do my answer multiplied by six, I should get back to where I started from. So 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 2 down carry the 1, 6 times 1 is 6, add my 1 is 7. So I get back to where I started, so it must be right. Check out my video on multiplication if you need to. Let's look at another example. 272 divided by 3. So again, my 9, 7, 2 goes inside, my 3 goes outside. So how many 3's in 9? There's 3. How many 3's in 7? There's 2, remainder 1. And how many 3's in 12? There is 4. Okay, your turn. Pause the, pause the recording, give these a go, and let's check it out. Okay, let's see how you got on. Hopefully these are the answers you got. Okay, let's look at division with remainders. So if I wanted to do 409 divided by 4, I would set everything up exactly the same. So how many fours go into four? There's one. How many fours go into zero? There isn't any. How many fours go into nine? There's two. 
and my remainder ones expressed like that. So for example, if four people were sharing £409, each person would get £102 and there'd be a pound left over. Let's look at another example. So 803 divided by 2. So my 803 goes inside, my 2 goes outside. So again, how many 2's in 8? There's 4. How many 2's in 0? There isn't any. How many 2's in 3? There's 1. Remainder 1. Let's do another one. 206 divided by 8. How many 8's in 2? There isn't any. Carry the 2. I haven't used that 2, so it's the remainder. How many 8's in 20? There's 2. 2 8's are 16, so remainder 4. How many 8's in 46? There are 5. 5 8's are 40, so remainder 6. Let's do one more together. If I had 896 divided by 11, if you're dividing by a number you're unsure of, it might be easy to write your times table out first so that you've got that to deal with. So how many 11's are in 8? There isn't any. Carry my 8. How many 11's are in 89? There's 8. Remainder 1. How many 11's are in 16? There's 1. Remainder 5. So let's see what this is going to look like in exam situation. Brett works for a printing company. He prints documents for a customer. Each document takes eight sheets of paper. Brett has 500 sheets of paper. How many completed documents can Brett print and how many are left over? You can always be able to tell it's a division uh, because you'll have a completed and leftover um, thing on your answer. So give pause the video, give this one a go and see how you get on. Okay, hopefully you got 62 remainder four. Because how many eights are in five? There isn't any. How many eights are in 50? There's six remainder two. How many eights are in 20? There's two and my overall remainder is four. So this was a three mark question with Excel. I was getting one mark for knowing it was a divide one mark for my 62 and one mark for my four. Let's give another one a go. Ellery Blook's a climbing activity. There are 138 people in total on the activity. They're put into teams, 12 people in each team and people left over in a small group. How many teams and how many are in the small group? Pause and give it a go. Okay, hopefully you got 11 teams with six people left. How many 12s in one? There isn't any. How many 12s in 13? There's one, remainder one. How many 12s in 18? There's one, remainder six. Again, one mark for your process, one mark for the 11 and one mark for the six. Let's have a look at one more. Talia needs to deliver 550 plants to a customer. She fills trays with plants. Each full tray holds 60 plants. How many trays of plants does Talia fill? Show how many plants are left over. Pause and give this one a go. Okay, let's check that out. I left this one till last for a reason. Doing this as the bus stop method would be quite difficult because if I lay out my bus stop, um, I have how many 60s going to 5? There isn't any. How many 60s going to 55? There isn't any. How many 60s going to 550? I'm right back where I started. So one of the ways we could work it out is using repeated addition. So I added 60 together until I got nearly to where I wanted to be. So nine lots of 60 got me to 540. Then I worked out the difference and I was there for 10. So I got nine, remainder 10. If you get a question like this and the bus stop division isn't working for you, just add, keep adding until you get near enough where you want it to be. Okay, so what we've looked at today is we've divided three digit whole numbers by single digits, three digits by double digits with and without remainders for both of those. We've also looked at the vocabulary for division and we've looked at what a remainder actually is. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, best of luck with your studies. Don't forget to like and subscribe and any questions, pop them in the comment section. Thanks, bye.